So this is going to be a big test for a young, up-and-coming, gifted fighter like Canelo. And keep in mind, Baldemir missed weight Ooh. by him. From Baldemir for missing weight, assuming Alvarez believes he'll be made be chump chains. Canelo in the white trunks, Baldemir in the black. He's giving that kind of money back to a former champion. Right. Volumes of the character of this young man. Cinnamon, or Canelo, in Spanish. Number two by the WBC, number three by the WBO, and number four by the WBA. A veteran that can take a big, I mean, this is, Carlos Baldemir is one of these fighters that can take a big shot. He's, he's persistent, he comes at you. He's not, he's a technician for an up and comer. A guy that's not gonna go anywhere, he's gonna test you. Left nice hook left. there from Tata. Turn into a brawler like so many Mexican legends have done, Sergio. He's much more surgical. Oh, wait, right now he's boxing, and he's surprising me a little bit. And Baldemir just got him on the right sorry, hand. Sergio. No, no, he's surprising me a little bit because he's staying so poised. Usually, Mexican fighters, especially right shots looking. and opportunities. Swing and a miss there for Baldemir. Canelo's money punch is the left hook. To left hook downstairs or upstairs is his money punch down with jabs and and with the older fighter you got to faint you got to show him things that aren't there for he could fall off balance Baldemir's having a pretty good round I mean the quieter the round the better if if you could keep the oh, fight nice left hand from Baldemir keep the fight in the middle of the ring just like young up and coming that's what you got to do to knock in rounds the movie Cinder released in June of 2000 became sort of a real life version of that story six months later when he won the welterweight world title against Zab Judah. Zab Judah's the real deal. I mean, a, a, a multi-division world champion. And the for him to fight one of the greatest boxers of our generation, Floyd Mayweather. So he's yeah. looking back-to-back -back really good stop. Over Arturo Gotti. Stopped him in the ninth round, and you know how tough you got to be to beat Thunder. He's, he's giving like he's getting. He's controlling the, the pace of the fight. He's not letting the younger man uh, fight the younger man's fight. That's exactly, that's perfect for you. You want to keep the fight quiet. You don't, you don't want no ruckus. You don't want combinations. You don't want speed and movement and agility. You want to keep the fight as quiet as possible, get these rounds in, and that's how you uh, uh, shock and upset a younger, powerful fighter. Keep, and we got to keep the, the, the crowd quiet as well. Baldemir fighting out of Argentina. Santa Fe, to be more specific, nice jab there from Canelo, and Baldemir trying to... Conventional wisdom says Baldemir could hang with... That's maturity in this young fighter. For 20 years old, I'm really impressed. Oh, Even nice right hand from Canelo. Oh, those big shots that. like that. Doesn't fall off balance. Very impressive. And Silent it, aggression. And it's a steady pressure, Todd. It's a steady pressure. It, it's not really... With him coming forward, looking oh. for shots like that. Every time... Baldemir reacts. His body is moved. A couple jabs there from... Fairly even fight so far. Fairly even, but Canelo's barely missing with some big shots right there. He, he stepped back and Damage. barely missed a strike. And that'll do it for round two. <laughs> the moment Canelo can land one of his patented big shots, but it's Baldemir who gets him. This moment for Canelo. Handpicked with the right name, though. That's the thing. So he's not a heavy nice. hitter. But he's, he might not be a heavy hitter, but he takes a heavy shot upstairs. He's that, durable. That took a little bit too much. I mean, he should be setting it up with counters just like that. That right hand right there. He steps back. Nice jab by Canelo. Beats Baldemir. Now can Canelo content to sit back and counter punch? Not really going guard. forward. To, to catch him with a hard shot. He's got that left hand cocked and ready, ready. I used to love that punch myself. It was kind of like a, a Roy Jones. You, you tap him with a jab just so you can get your opponent Damn. to block it. And you get him to bite and you come around turning that jab into a hook. And after you catch your opponent off guard. Look at these jabs. Set up a left hook. He's got the entry jab and the exit jab working. Beautiful. And I love that pivot oh. right there. 
Swing and a miss again. Gets a big yeah, response. Want to win? He wants a knockout over Baldemir, who hasn't been stopped. In Actually, because he's not. He's keeping the younger man at bay. Like he hasn't really he keep the got fight him. in the middle of the ring. Nice left hand, and now Baldemir coming forward a little bit. Baldemir's not the type of guy that's just going to come in here and lay down. He wants the win. So he knows the game plan is going to depend on exactly what type of fight is bringing the fight to him. He's coming up a little short. It's Canelo, Canelo with his strength, his speed, and his timing, which is seemingly let him. Baldemir looked like he got a shot in on the inside there. Shot on, on the inside. On the outside, when Canelo steps back, just like he did right there, looking for counters, that's, that's, a, that's what Alvarez wants to do with the older fighter. Make him step back. Make, him, make his leg. You know, Canelo is chin. Baldemir might be thinking, hey, let's see what this kid's made of if I can land a heavy hand. Nice left there from Canelo. Maybe his best punch of the fight. Baldemir trying to get one back, and you know what? Yeah, but look at the names of who he's fought. So you, you got, he definitely has the experience. So he has the experience. He knows how to. He knows how to uh, uh, waste the years the and say, you know what? Canelo Alvarez was the best name on his resume. Canelo has long said he wants to be the next Muhammad Ali, which is obviously about as tough a road you Canelo's could ever go. Canelo's missing with some with some big shots right now. He's getting closer and closer to land those big shots. Barely missing. We know Baldemir could take a big shot, but with a big puncher like Alvarez, I'm curious to see. No, oh, straight right hand grazes off the temple. See, that this is where the he doesn't want to be. Alvarez, he's timing him right now. He's, he's, he know, like right Baldemir there. That left still bouncing on his toes, trying to show you that he's got plenty left in the tank. But he has to close the distance. I don't like this distance that he's giving the younger, stronger fighter. Baldemir now trying actually. to press. Baldemir seems like he's getting a little momentum working his way the last couple. Canelo wanted a brilliant performance, wanted to get the attention of the boxing world. Even at the young age of 20, right hand there for Baldemir who's coming inside again. And this is the perfect test, an old, an older. And now Tata coming forward. And he's letting mm -hmm. Canelo bring the fight to him. Again, Canelo just too fast. Canelo, though, still looking strong, looking fresh. And there's a couple of one, two. And now a left hook to the jaw. Big left hook to the jaw. This is Canelo. Oh, and a straight right hand. Big uppercut and a double uppercut now for Canelo. I don't like the body language by Baldemir here. Oh, oh Baldemir might be ready to go. He might, and he's gone.